It has been a very long time since the last time I had a good free root removal session. So in today's video, I want to recap what I did yesterday for you guys. I had one goal, Arena Rush for Guardian, because I think I still have it in me. In order to achieve that, I need good Arena Offense team. This is currently, in my opinion, one of the most popular Arena defense I've seen so far from Fighter 3 to Guardian 2. Speed lead, Tiana, and threats. And somehow this is so popular, like Rika is free to play, man. <laughs> I don't understand. This is super popular. There's only one way to deal with this defense, outspeed and kill it immediately. So I created this double Lucian team with Waryoung. Very proud of her. She's on double fight runes, speed, HP, attack, doesn't really matter. She's only here to buff my Lucian and take care of the fire threat after the Lucian take their turn. When you look at this, double Lucian should be able to kill all of them, except for Rika. Sometimes I kill Rika too if I'm lucky. John, she can only have, in my opinion, 45,000 HP top. Unless they are going for some really slow triple HP type. There's no HP leader. So, to be safe, I need to do 45 to 50,000 damage in total. First Lucian. Speed, good damage, attack, swift, 100% crit rate. Super important for a consistent rush. I don't want to deal with missing crit. Second Lucian on wheel runes, also 100% crit rate. In total, I'm doing around 46 to 47,000 damage ignoring defense. This guy has to be on wheel runes because when Samav come back to life after the first Lucian, the second Lucian has a chance to get stunned. Happened before. So he must be on wheel runes. Outspeeding Tiana, not a problem at all. We're gonna go first, buff attack power, and then first Lucian will do around seven something damage, kill almost everything. We kill the Rika as well. This guy has very bad runes. <laughs> Usually the Tiana and the Rika survive. Second Lucian go, and we kill everything. Usually there'll be a fire threat alive. War Young plus Frigate is more than enough to kill that fire threat. This guy defense is a little bit better because there's a Perna. So, I'm gonna go in, kill everything, and then Perna will be left alive, War Young, Frigate, I'm more than enough to deal with this Perna. I'm gonna showcase that real quick here. We're gonna go first, buff attack power, I'm gonna clap the Samav, he's gonna die, come back, do some damage to my team, but it doesn't really matter. I have a wheel set that resisted. You see that? That was a stun right there. <laughs> but we resisted. So I'm gonna kill everything easily. No John have ever survived 2M, even though they're only doing, as I told you guys, around 46, 47,000 damage. But I haven't seen a single John survive that. And Perna is not a huge problem. Rakan is a much bigger problem if there is a wheel runes on that Rakan. So I can't stun it. Sometimes there'll be a defense like this where I don't need to outspeed. I'll run a Megan for more damage and fight rune on Megan as well. So that we'll have more than enough damage to kill what is over there. Sometimes there's a defense like this. It's not the greatest, but you have to capitalize when you see a bad defense, okay? So we should be doing around 50k damage and that should be enough for almost anything over there except for maybe Harmonia but Harmonia is not a problem. Maybe if that is a Rakan then there will be a problem but still we have Megan and Frigate. Frigate is a very good unit to deal with all these stupid fire things because he can stun and the ability to stun is amazing. Okay done this is the only variation of speed lead tiana that i can't go in because i will not be able to kill vanessa and perna that's for sure and then something will get revived by vanessa and then i can't really deal with three units alive after lucian have done all their things so i skip this should i do this to show you guys i don't really want to appear on this guy list as a loss that's not very good for Rush, so I'm gonna ignore that, but you know what I mean. Same defense, but different fire threat. Rakan is 
not something I like. Perona, you can stun, but Rakan, I'm not too sure. There's a Wiro on that Rakan, which means after turn one, I can't stun that Rakan anymore. And when you fight Rakan, there's a lot of RNG involved, whether you can kill that Rakan or not. And Woyong got stunned, so I can't do immediate damage after this. So I lost a turn right there. The second Lucian did some heavy damage to Rakan, but I was lucky with crit. Sometimes, I'm not that lucky. And this wear is very scary, because he can revenge every turn, or not a single time at all. So far, it was easy this time around. But I fought Rakan where they revenge every single turn and it's just impossible to kill them. But I was lucky for this one. Perna is much easier to deal with. Another one with Perna in it. Okay, let's show you guys. Oh no, I haven't shown you my cleave comb yet. <laughs> but it's actually not easy to cleave but still, there are some defenses out there where you can actually cleave. And I made cleave comp to hit those kind of defense once in a while. It's not popular for you to cleave. It's not easy. Maybe once per refresh or something like that. There's so much of this. So when I crack this defense, rushing becomes so much easier. See, Perna, easy stun, and Woyoung has more than enough juice to deal with the Perna. Even if it violent and kill both my Lucian. It has to kill both Lucian to reach Frigate and Warrior. And they're not easy to be killed. Oh no, I run up wings. Maybe I should refresh one time to show you guys. Okay, let's, let's just do one. Oh wait, wait. This might be a little bit dumb since I'm rushing later, but you know, so whatever, for video purpose. Why is it not easy to cleave? There's a lot of this AOE strip on the spare rune. Okay, more of that, but that's easy. I've shown you already. There's a lot of this, AoE strip that brings CC with them. And it's very risky to cleave against these type of defenses. But I want to show you guys that Tin Lang is trash and I have a budget Zyros. Because Zyros is designed to deal with this and this very easily. If you don't have Zyros, you can run a Taurus. He increased skill cooldown by one turn. And in that one turn moment, you have to kill them immediately. Because if you miss that window, they will have their passive backup. So, see, he go in, even if he do the AOE, which is very, very bad, you know? All right, we're gonna strip all of that. And then we're gonna buff this. My Taurus has 50 accuracy, not the best. I'm gonna improve him a little bit further, but right now I don't think Perna and Samath can resist my Taurus easily. So, we're gonna increase cool time on all of them. And with this, oh no, that's a math. See, Is, was he on Nemesis? I don't know, but he avoided death right there. So we're gonna go straight for him. Never mind, we're gonna kill Perna with this anyway. And killing him provide me the best AOE damage. There's no immunity to follow up, but this might be a bit risky. So that was bad speed tuning on my part on Nemesis. I couldn't really see, but Tiana should have enough damage to follow up after this. So my bad. <laughs> My bad. I can't improve Pungback speed anymore. And I don't want to slow down my Tiana because I use her in RTA sometimes. And sometimes there'll be a defense that doesn't have AoE strip. I don't know I don't know how it can exist past Conqueror 1. Because everyone should have a cleave comp. And when you don't have AoE strip or AoE immunity, I don't need Tiana. I will run a Triana. Because Perna has the potential to just destroy two units of my team. <laughs> because there's no limit to violent proc in arena defense. And you know when you rush arena, enemy... Oh my god, look at that. Oh, sh oh crap. Oh crap, no. Okay. So, I'm sorry, but... But I think <laughs> this might be, a, might be a fail because I can't reset the enemy anymore. So I don't know what to do actually. I can kill Orion, but it will not kill anything at all. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna kill Orion. See? The only way this thing can exist is good RNG. <laughs> because that was nonsense. That was also my bad for not having Wirun on Triana. Because I'm using Nemesis for some other purpose. But I can't believe we can actually start off with a stun on my wheelshield unit, you know? Never mind. 
Never mind. It should... I don't want to hit him again. Now I'm gonna be on this guy list as a loss. <laughs> I'm so angry, man. It works all the time. But when I record something, that happens. So this is quite popular too. And with the comp that I'm using right now, I should be able to withstand his damage. Taurus will be able to reset the passive. We kill and Pongbei is very good at killing Camilla. Unless, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen, you know? I, I just don't know. Okay, okay, nothing really happened. Nothing really happened. We're gonna do that, I'm gonna reset. I don't know if this Perna is gonna move in between and that sucks. We reset the cool time on the Perna, but because it's only one turn, he moved in between and I lost the the chance to kill her immediately. That's not cool. But now I'm gonna go straight for the enemy Samaf. I reset his cool time, I saw that. I should be able to do some decent damage on the rest of the team. But oh my god. It's just she saved the shield now. Oh, what do I do? I have no idea. I still have the bomb to kill Camilla. If I land it, I did land the bomb. But the Perna is a problem now. Oh my god, he's not dead. Nothing's dying. Nothing is dying. But it's, it's alright. The bomb's gonna stun the Perna. Should be. I'm gonna go and try my best to kill this Camilla right now. Mm, or should I kill the Perna quick? Nah, nah, I'm gonna focus damage on Perna. Make sure that she's dead. That's the most important thing. Because Camilla is not a problem when I have a crit damage Triana. So I'm, I'm doing some decent damage. And my Galleon is tanky enough to take the damage head on. The moment I have this, this Camilla shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay? Crit. Mmm. See? Whew. <laughs> when I want to show something, things just start to fail. Arena defense is all about mind game. This Tiana is a slow wheel shield Tiana, but nobody is gonna know that. Unless I watch my video. And when I have the meta defense i'll get hit less hopefully <laughs> hopefully if they run a speed lead fat lucian mantaras may cut in and you know do something to them hopefully i don't know we'll see how it goes i haven't rushed in a long time so this is what i'm gonna run maybe i'll swap a frigate in with a juno and we see how it goes as well i have a couple different options for myself when they are less annoying passive, I tend to run an attack leader for my Pungbaek to do more damage. Like in this situation, it's tanky, but there's no annoying passive like Samaf and Perna. The passive of Triana, I just have to hit Triana and things will be alright. It's also a little bit risky because I can only hit Triana with Pungbaek. Hitting Tarana is not a good idea because he's high on defense, you will do very little damage. But with the help of my Alicia, I will provide my Pungbaek with a tank leader skill. I hopefully will be able to do some decent damage on that Triana. Wait a minute. Hmm. That Triana took so much less damage than Tyrannus. I, I don't know what happened right there, but I'm gonna try to kill this Triana. Boom. 45k. And everything should be. Oh no. Okay, now I think about it. Hmm. Shit. Shit. Very shit shit shit, but it's gonna be okay, right? It has to be okay. I'm gonna kill that thing easily, and we're gonna kill with this. There's no way that Camilla can kill my Pongbei. She can kill Alicia, it's fine. Alright, we're we good. <laughs> Told you, I haven't rushed in a long time, so I'm kind of rusty. But I can do it, I believe. So that's it for my rune showcase for this month. Not sure if all of these will stay because I like to swap runes around to make content. But this is what it is for now. I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video as soon as possible. Bye!